So Skyrim was released almost 10 years ago, and Bethesda has done some questionable things since then, so I decided to make a Skyrim clone in one week to prove how easy it is for Bethesda to release another great game. And it turned out, well... Also wanted to mention, if you're the 11% of people subscribed to my videos, I'm proud of you. Aww. That's all. What are the essential components to Skyrim? Well, every Elder Scrolls game has a combat system, branching dialogue, quests, and a large open map. Skyrim uniquely has dragons and the ability for the player to shout at enemies. There's also magic stuff and player stats that can be upgraded, but since I'm only giving myself one week to make this, I'm going to have to exclude these. I first got started on my Skyrim clone by creating a new Unity project and implementing a first person character to my scene. Once I got the player moving around and jumping, I switched to Blender and modeled a sword and a tree with a color palette I put together. Decided to go with a low poly style because it is what I'm best at modeling, and because they are pretty easy models to make. Then I threw together a simple low poly terrain in Blender, and imported my models back into Unity. Adjusted some lighting settings, and bam! Map world already complete. And it already looks like I'm playing, um, something. You can walk all the way to the top of that mountain. After that, I got started on the dialogue system. I looked into various ways dialogue systems are done, and eventually came up with one that I'm pretty proud of. For each NPC, there is a JSON file corresponding to that NPC's dialogue. The JSON file contains an array of dialogue, and a set of responses for each piece of dialogue, which point to the next piece of dialogue in the array. That JSON file is then parsed into an NPC class object, and the current dialogue option in the NPC's dialogue array is shown to the screen. And this system actually works surprisingly well. It's like I'm actually playing Skyrim. STOP RIGHT THERE, CRIMINAL SCUM! The only thing left with the dialogue system was to incorporate questing into it, so I simply used a quest value in the NPC JSON data every time a dialogue option has a quest given to it. Then I used Unity's scriptable objects to track each quest index and show the current quest information to the screen. I implemented a quest marker interface from a tutorial I found by this guy, so feel free to check him out. I may or may not have just straight up yoinked his code. The marker just points to a game object with a quest tag attached to it that is storing the current quest index. And my questing system was complete. Not perfect, but works enough for me. Then I modeled some houses and castles in Blender. Skyrim has an inventory system, but inventory systems are hard to make, so I'm just not going to have one. Instead, the player is just going to have to chuck every object they aren't holding onto the ground and come back for it later. I modeled a bow, arrow, and axe in Blender and imported them back into Unity to have some more weapon variety. I added weapon systems with weapon swinging and bow shooting. I added a player health and stamina bar, where the stamina bar steadily decreases as the player sprints. And it's like we're already playing Skyrim. All of this just works. It's not, I'm not kidding. Now Skyrim wouldn't be Skyrim without the player being dragonborn and able to shout anyone off a cliff. So I threw together a quick shouting system and now the player can shout NPCs to the floor. As a final touch, I threw together a questionable looking dragon in Blender and imported the model back into Unity. I wrote a simple dragon AI script where the dragon moves toward the player and breathes fire at a certain distance and moves toward a static world point otherwise. And the script honestly worked better than I expected. I decorated the terrain a bit more with low poly models I made from older projects, set up a demo scene imported some sounds which I remixed from audio samples I found online, created a main menu, and began to decide on a name for the game. I think I'll call it Dumb... Skyrim. Gives good brand recognition. Now I present to you Dumb Skyrim.
And that's how I made Skyrim in only one week. It's a pretty small demo, but I think it captures the overall picture of Skyrim. If you'd like to download the project files, there's a link in the description. But Bethesda should probably step up their game before I code StarCraft in a week too. Just saying. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, consider leaving a like and subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching.